Turkey has just unveiled a $200 million AI-powered drone swarm, a fully autonomous fleet of war machines capable of flying, hunting, and striking without the need for human pilots. This isn't just a new weapon, it's a glimpse into the battlefield of the future. Unlike traditional drones, these swarms don't operate one at a time. Instead, they move and react together, much like a flock of birds or a school of fish, but with deadly precision. Analysts warn that such technology could overwhelm even the most advanced air defenses by sheer numbers, saturating systems that were never designed to counter dozens of coordinated threats at once. The Pentagon has reportedly taken notice, with senior defense officials admitting that swarming AI drones represent a disruptive leap forward. Russia and China, both racing to develop similar capabilities, are now watching Turkey's progress with unease. And even NATO allies, while impressed by Ankara's innovation, are quietly asking what this means for the balance of power within the alliance itself. So, what exactly is a drone swarm? At its core, it's a collection of unmanned aerial vehicles working together under the guidance of artificial intelligence algorithms. Unlike traditional drones, which require direct human control, swarms can communicate with each other in real time, share targeting information, and adapt their tactics mid-flight. Think of it as dozens of small, low-cost aircraft acting as one cohesive unit. This is a major leap from single drones like Turkey's Bayraktar TB2, which proved devastating in conflicts such as Nagorno-Karabakh. While the TB2 had to be flown individually and assigned specific missions, swarms can take on a target set collectively, deciding which drone should attack, which should distract, and which should jam enemy radars. The result is a force multiplier effect. Traditional defenses like surface-to-air missiles or anti-aircraft guns might stop one or two drones, but against 20 or 30 attacking at once, even the most sophisticated systems could be overwhelmed. It's this unpredictability and adaptability that make drone swarms not just another step in technology, but a potential revolution in the way wars are fought. Turkey's leap into drone swarm warfare is being spearheaded by its rapidly growing defense industry, led by companies like Baykar, Asilsan, and Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI. These firms have already built Turkey's reputation as a drone powerhouse, with the Bayraktar TB2 becoming famous for its role in Libya, Syria, and especially the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, where it destroyed tanks, artillery, and even sophisticated air defense systems. Building on that success, Turkey is now investing more than $200 million into developing a new generation of autonomous, AI-powered drones designed to fight not alone, but together. The project's vision is simple but revolutionary. Create a swarm that thinks collectively. Each drone is equipped with advanced sensors, onboard computing, and AI software that allows it to recognize targets, coordinate with its peers, and make decisions in real time. If one drone is shot down, the others adjust automatically, shifting formation or taking over the mission. Some are built for reconnaissance, others for electronic warfare, and others for direct strike. But when they act in unison, they become a flexible, unstoppable force. What makes this especially dangerous is cost. A single fighter jet like the American F-35 costs nearly $80 million. But for a fraction of that price, Turkey can field an entire swarm of drones, each capable of carrying precision-guided munitions or electronic jamming equipment. This makes them ideal for saturating enemy defenses or overwhelming expensive systems like Russia's S-400 or America's Patriot missile batteries. By pouring $200 million into AI swarms, Turkey is signaling that it doesn't just want to keep up with global powers, it wants to leap ahead into the future of warfare. The reason drone swarms are considered a game changer is simple. Numbers matter. Traditional air defense systems like the US Patriot or Russia's S-400 were designed to intercept a handful of aircraft or missiles at a time. They rely on expensive interceptor missiles, each costing millions of dollars to knock down incoming threats. But when faced with dozens or even hundreds of drones attacking simultaneously, these defenses become hopelessly overloaded. Firing a $3 million missile to shoot down a drone that might cost only $20,000 makes no sense. 
And when the sky is filled with targets, even the most advanced systems can't respond fast enough. This imbalance between cost and capability is what makes AI swarm so dangerous. Imagine a naval warship surrounded by a pack of drones. Some act as decoys, forcing the ship to reveal its radar position. Others jam communications, while the rest dive in with precision-guided explosives. By the time the crew reacts, the damage is already done. Military analysts compare this to wolf pack tactics. Just like wolves surrounding prey, drones can coordinate to overwhelm and disable far larger, more powerful opponents. We've already seen a glimpse of this strategy in action. In 2019, drones and cruise missiles struck Saudi Arabia's Abqaiq oil facility, temporarily halving the kingdom's oil output and shocking global energy markets. Those were primitive compared to what AI swarms can do today. Now, with advanced autonomy and machine learning, Turkey's $200 million program is taking this concept to the next level, creating weapons that can think, adapt, and execute complex missions without waiting for human orders. For militaries around the world, this represents a new kind of threat, one that is fast, cheap, unpredictable, and nearly impossible to stop once unleashed. The unveiling of Turkey's $200 million AI drone swarm has triggered a wave of reactions around the globe, and not all of them are comfortable. Within NATO, many allies are impressed, even stunned, by Ankara's leap in military technology. Turkey has already proven the power of its drones in conflicts across the Middle East and the Caucasus, where Bayraktar TB2s changed the course of battles almost overnight. Now, by pioneering autonomous swarming technology, Turkey is not just a regional drone power. It is positioning itself as a leader in next-generation warfare. Yet behind closed doors, NATO leaders are cautious. A stronger, more independent Turkish defense industry means Ankara may act unilaterally without relying on Western systems or approvals, potentially complicating alliance dynamics. Russia, meanwhile, is uneasy for very different reasons. Moscow has already felt the sting of Turkish drones in Syria and Libya, where its own air defense systems struggled against TB2 strikes. During the Nagorno-Karabakh War, Russian-supplied Armenian forces saw their tanks and artillery destroyed from the sky, often by Turkish-built drones. If Turkey can field fully autonomous swarms, Russia's traditional armored strength could become even more vulnerable. Russian analysts warn that these swarms could neutralize air defenses like the S-300 and S-400, systems Moscow has long considered untouchable. Then there's China, a nation already investing heavily in drone swarms of its own. Beijing is carefully watching Turkey's progress, recognizing both a competitor and a potential partner. China has tested swarms of hundreds of mini-drones launched from trucks and aircraft, but Turkey's combat-proven experience makes its technology especially valuable. Some Chinese military commentators suggest Ankara's breakthroughs could accelerate an arms race in swarm warfare forcing nations to rethink not only defense strategies, but the very nature of aerial combat. For the Pentagon, Turkey's progress is a wake-up call. U.S. officials admit that while America is developing drone swarm programs, Ankara's rapid and cost-effective innovation could allow it to deploy operational systems sooner. This places Turkey in a unique position, both as a NATO ally and as a disruptive force whose technology is reshaping how wars of the future will be fought. Turkey's $200 million AI drone swarm isn't just a national project. It's part of a global shift in the way wars will be fought. For more than a century, military power has been measured in tanks, ships, and fighter jets. But now that equation is changing. In the future, it may not be the country with the biggest aircraft carrier or the most advanced fighter jet that dominates the skies. It may be the nation that controls the smartest, fastest, and most adaptable drones. AI swarms open up possibilities that traditional weapons cannot match. In naval warfare, for example, dozens of drones could overwhelm even the most advanced destroyer or aircraft carrier, attacking from multiple directions at once. On land, swarms could disable armored columns, radar installations, or supply convoys before human commanders even realize they're under attack. And in the air, they could act as escorts for manned fighters, or even replace pilots altogether taking on missions too risky for humans to survive. 
but the implications go far beyond tactics. Swarm warfare raises profound ethical and strategic questions. If machines are making split-second decisions on who to target, what happens to accountability? Can international law keep up with weapons that react faster than humans can intervene? And if drone swarms become cheap enough to mass produce, will smaller nations, or even non-state actors, gain access to capabilities once reserved for superpowers? Analysts warn that this is the dawn of algorithmic warfare, where speed, autonomy, and machine intelligence outweigh sheer firepower. Turkey's investment shows that the future battlefield may not be dominated by the biggest military, but by the most innovative one. And that shift could change global power balances for decades to come.